Hello, what is up? So, a Christmas Miracle Expedition 33 now has FSR 4. You still need to enable it through the adrenaline driver, but that's how it works most of the time. So that is great news, and I did previously talk about me leaving a negative review until they updated it to FSR 4, which they now have done. So, as I've shown there, I've literally updated it, and it will be a positive review. So I did actually do a post on this, and I urged other people to do it, and... There has been a lot of people on Steam saying the same thing, so I believe we've pushed them into it, possibly, but, I mean, the reason I've done it is because it's such, it is a great game, and it's obviously, I mean, it's winning a lot of game awards and all that, so there's no denying it's a great game, but obviously my issue was that, I mean, I know in the Unreal Engine, it's not hard at all to implement FSR 3.1, so I just didn't think it was acceptable at the time, but now it's a lot better, obviously, now they've done it. So obviously NVIDIA had the OSS, I mean that's literally in most games, and then even Intel had XESS. So there's no reason whatsoever for FSR not to be in this game. So whether FSR 3 looks bad or not, I mean that's not the point. The point is more people do have AMD GPUs over Intel, I'm pretty sure of that. So that is the issue I had. As much of the, as, I mean it got a lot of good reviews, obviously it's a great game. But now I feel like I can probably get into it once i've completed callisto so it wasn't just me there was a lot of people the md community were pushing against sandfall saying it should be in the game so but as you can see we have now got fsr in the game and i will update my review to a positive from my point of view i really hate it when not there is no fairness so this is why i'll probably get more angry about it than other people but i don't like it when uh a certain developer is like I didn't like it when Cyberpunk just uh they were destroying FSR on purpose making FSR 3 worse than it should be so I didn't like that but now that finally has uh got FSR 3 FSR 3.1 anyway and then you could just update it in the game so uh, at least they've done that so uh I mean one thing on this game actually it's got FSR 3 frame generation in the game but I couldn't enable it so I'm not sure what's going on there, but maybe they are in the process of uh, putting it in the game. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt since they've done this. But um, So obviously we can't try out the machine learning frame generation. I've found that to not work in a fair few games so far, by the way. that I mean, I have used the OSS Swapper to update to 3.1.4, but it looks like there's going to be a fair few games like Horizon Forbidden West, it just wouldn't work. Stellar Blade, it didn't work. So it's going to be a case of that until AMD support it more, by the looks of it. So I haven't looked at the machine learning frame generation much at all, but then I'm literally more interested in the 4.0.3, how it looks. So it's not like I'm, a, I'm not totally against frame generation, it's just something I actually... I'm not going to lie, in games I can actually forget about it. If the game is running fine with, uh, say, FSR 4, DLSS 4, whatever, I don't really use it. So that is why it's, it's sort of a afterthought for me, frame generation. Um, it's not something that's vital. I mean, I don't think it's a... It's not something I'm more interested in image quality. So I'm more about looking at my character, making sure everything's looking good. That matters to me more, to be honest, like image quality. So that's that's why. But then, and the other thing was like the ghost in the extra latency. But then uh, it does look like actually now, after watching Ancient Gameplay's video, the latency is really good with the machine learning. So that, that might actually pique my interest with it. And I am looking forward to the features with uh, FSR Redstone. But it's just a shame a lot of the games are not working with it. Um, but actually in Outworlds 2 it did seem to work pretty well so but I haven't had I've literally not played that game I've just been playing Callisto Protocol a lot although don't get me wrong it's a very good game um I was loving it but then I'd just get distracted and I started get I was doing Linux content and I thought well, I might as well play this game because the loads are better on Kashi and then I just literally got into it and I've been playing it on Windows as well and it's fine to be fair so yeah I'm having a good time and it is an epic game for me, as I keep saying. <laughs> and on this game, it's not a massive difference, to be honest. Um, I think possibly there's a bit more detail, but in terms of stability, I found it to be 
almost the same on this game. So, but then I think possibly when I'm looking at my character, there is a bit more detail in the 4.0.3. That's that is literally my first thought on this game. Whereas in a uh, Last of Us Part Two, I did find the stability to be better. So I need to have a good look at it first before I give a great opinion on it. So when I get more time, I will do. So yeah, that is pretty much it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.